Ah, oh, everybody's gonna get diseases. Like, why are you all in here? This is driving me insane. What's going on, guys? Rigast here, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. So today, it's gonna be another kind of, uh, repair day, if you will. If you missed the last episode, some shit hit the fan, quite literally, as you can see over here. We had a little bit of an issue, but, uh, we saved the day, and everyone went okay. So today, I'm gonna be, uh, also updating this a little bit more. Uh, just gonna do some things as I talk about this, so I do obviously want to tile there. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm seeing down here there's some fart bubbles going on and everything, and I remembered that we, uh, unlocked the composting, which, com uh, breaks contaminated dirt down into fertilizer. Now, I believe fertilizer doesn't do anything in the game just yet, so, uh, that's kind of pointless, but I also don't want contaminated dirt around, so we're gonna put that right by the outhouses here and make sure that's okay. Let's actually look as well. Uh, how's our, our uh, carbon dioxide still down here, so I'm not too worried about it, but I do want these LG terrariums set up really quickly. Also, insufficient oxygen generation, again, we're gonna have to deal with that, so, uh, now that we got five melts in here, there's more breathing, more issues, so let's get some more oxidizers. I don't know why I called them oxidizers, they're actually LG deoxidizers. We're going to put one... Uh, do we want one right here? Because it's so close to the other one. I just want places where it's considered breathable, but not very breathable. So up here, for example, yeah, I think we'll do one up there, because we're going to expand out into there. I'm not really sure what I'm going to put just yet, uh, but you know what? We may as well prepare ahead of time here. And can we actually... I don't think we can drag through the rock. Oh, you can. Interesting. Okay. So we'll just drag right through the rock then and go over to it. Now, I wonder if I have to actually dig that out, though. Uh, to actually bring this thing over to it, which is fine. Actually, I kind of want to do that anyway since there's way too much room up here. So yeah, we're, let's do that. We're gonna dig all of this out as well, uh, and then we will tile this whole thing off. So if we go to tile here, there we go, and we'll just drag all the way down to where we finish up with the digging. So then we can have another room up here. I might actually put my beds up there because we don't have enough beds over here. This is a little bit of a small spot. I'll change this into something else. I might actually bring the supercomputer and stuff up here because I do want to wall this off because I'm worried about this water leaking out as well. Alright, but yeah, so far so good. This is gonna be kind of like uh, an episode focused on uh, kind of finalizing everything here. Also, I do gotta worry about food. Again, food's gonna be a real issue, but we are upping it a little bit. I can see that green bar going further down, so that's good. Navy Otter's on the wheel. That's where he's going to stay, or she, or he. I don't even know what to call it because it's a girl in game, but I gotta assume it's a guy out of game. I also want to prioritize getting rid of this because I gotta assume... This will contaminate, so can we actually prioritize sweeping? No, you can't for some reason, so hopefully someone sweeps really quickly. Maybe I should assign someone that job. There's a lot going on right now that they haven't done just yet, so uh, I queued up a lot of stuff, as you can see. Alright, so we should be good for mush bars. You don't want to overproduce food either, because that food will get contaminated, and if they don't eat it in time, it will spoil the rest of your food. So it's kind of like a fine line between having enough stock and, uh, you know, basically starving. So we're actually going to go over to the research station. I keep forgetting to queue this up. It's very important to research too, so my bad. Let me see how far we are actually into this research. So we're only at 7 out of 20 for liquid piping, so hopefully we'll get that done today. But again, the biggest thing right now, I'm going to prioritize this up into 6. Because I want to get my farm set up. i got to assume uh, harvesting will take a while, so we definitely do want to cut this out and uh, get that farm set up. All right, so there we go. That's all sixes. We'll leave the rest as fives. Hopefully they'll do that, but again, a lot's going on right now. Uh, that must be a new cycle. What is that noise? Okay, people gotta poop. People gotta pee. Uh, everything's going fine, though. We're doing good so far. I just really wish they would build these things down here. Uh, that is not good at all. This is slowly breaking. Oh, fuck. Okay, you can definitely see that they're sleeping right now. We need to... Oh, fuck, we need to board this the fuck off. I'm gonna do, like, a three-wide tile here. Hopefully this thing can, uh, hold out until, uh, morning time, because this is really scary. Poor Shannon is just getting spurred on with shit. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to fix this really, really badly. So let's actually 
deconstruct this. Again, we'll have to deal with the cots later on. Uh, let's pause time and kind of prepare things right now. So we're gonna deconstruct all of these. I'm getting this the frig out of here. And we're going to tile this off once that's done. So let's actually speed up time here. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Come on, here we go. Yes, there... <laughs> it's C-Top. Just deconstruct while Hideki was sleeping. That is great. And contamination is really bad. Let's not go too fast right now because this is... Oh, this is scary. And unfortunately, we don't actually have the materials to make tiles right now, so I'm going to turn this into a 9 priority. I want this done right now. I'm done waiting. I definitely do need the dirt. And we're also... Can I actually tile... Can I queue it up regardless? I don't think you can. Not enough materials. There are insufficient materials. Construct this building. Okay. So we gotta wait for that. Uh, and this is a little risky. You know what? Let's get someone to mop this up at least. So we don't have that many issues. All right, I thought there'd be raw minerals over here, but it is not looking good. Now I know over here, yeah, this is raw mineral. So this is granite over here. Uh, cultivated soil, fuck. I need to find raw minerals somewhere in easy proximity. We got algae everywhere, which is good, obviously. Uh, but we need those raw minerals. I think the only place we can get them is, like, way over here by the contamination, which is fantastic, mind you. Uh, so yeah, we're going to tell them to dig this out. We don't want to get too close to the contamination, but I definitely do want to dig some of this out. So, again, prioritize this up. We're gonna do a lot of digging today, because I need these resources desperately. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so the wall did finally break. This is bad, guys. This is exactly what I knew was gonna happen. And I probably should have prepared for it earlier. I didn't think it would be so quick. Uh, unfortunately, please tell me. Not dirt. I'm not getting any raw minerals. Oh, God. Yep. This is going bad. Okay, so should I... I can't really do much, because the only way to block this off is to tile it. And, of course, I can't earn the tiles right now. So, worst case scenario, this is actually going to flow out, fall down, and go into our clean water over here, which is huge. Uh, but I don't I don't know if it will get contaminated everywhere. If it does, this is going to be a pretty interesting rest of the series. But, as you can see, I can't do much about it. I can't get my tiles yet. I can't get my tiles until I get raw minerals over there. And there's nothing else I can really do. We got fertilizer down here, cultivated soil. I'm just looking for the minerals, man. All right, there we go. So we got tiles. So let's put these... How many can I do? Hopefully, I'm just going to block this whole motherfucker off uh, because I need this. So let's change this, prioritize this to a friggin' nine. And if we save the day again, that feels pretty freaking good. We're going to prioritize that as a... Let's do a six. Because we don't need any more right now. I definitely do want to dig that out, though. Uh, what else is nines right now? I don't want anything a nine except for that. Uh, we don't need this as nines right now. And yeah, let's get this thing queued up, guys. Come on, start tiling it. Really quickly, please. It's, it's bad. All right, guys. <laughs> Mystique, Why? Why do you guys do this? Seriously. Okay, now I gotta save Mystique. We can deal with that in a second here. Uh, at least it's blocked off. So, alright, let's slow down time. I don't know why I'm going so fast right now. And I'm gonna get Mystique to build these ladders. Uh, we're going to have to build all the way. You know what? Let's just build all the way up here, and then we can tile this off as well, unfortunately. And, uh, hopefully we should be okay. So, Mystique, I'm hoping this guy should be able to do this. He might die! We might lose our first guy here, guys! Uh, but hopefully he can build his ladder on the way out. Uh, we're gonna have to dig as well. That's, that's right. All right, we'll prioritize this as a seven. Hopefully these guys will help a little bit uh, with the digging and whatnot. So here we go. These guys are losing oxygen over here. Let's see, how's the oxygen doing over here? So yeah, we got a little bit of uh, a bad area there. Mystique doesn't have any more materials down here for him. Oh God, to actually, okay, let me see if I can dig out the roof here. For him to make the ladders. I don't even know what you need for ladders. Uh, hopefully that's it because <laughs> Mystique, Mystique is sinking, man. Okay, Mystique needs obsidian to actually make ladders. H how that makes sense, I don't know. So, I I see obsidian over here. This is fucking risky. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, so at this point, no, I can't even get over there. That's the problem. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to accept the fact that Mystique is going to be perished. 
Uh, for the sake of the colony, because I can't... I mean, I could open this up and try and save them. I just don't think it's worth it. So, let's see what happens here. Mystique, uh... Yeah, this is not good, buddy. I mean, we can try and get him to dig out some of this. This would save the day if he can. I'm hoping he can breathe. Come on, buddy. You can do this. You can save your day. Uh, that would be freaking great. Okay, it's nighttime. Everyone's sleeping right now. I'm just trying to save Mystique. We got this thing set up over here, so I think we're gonna actually build the beds. Ah, uh, no, I do want to build them up a little higher, so... Uh, we're just gonna have to let them sleep tonight like that. Mystique did get his obsidian! I didn't realize they could go that deep in the water, so good for him. I'm hoping we can still escape this poor fella. Ah, uh, because I feel really bad. Alright, there we go. His ladder is complete. You can see that I think the, um, contaminated water actually evened out the pressure of the air in here. Uh, has not let it rise anymore, so I think he should be okay, assuming he doesn't starve or get any diseases or anything. He's got to go <laughs> over and get more resources. I think there's actually a little air pocket here that's saving the day for him. All right, well, God damn it, this isn't the perfect run through, guys, but I think we're actually gonna save Mystique again. So two close calls already and uh, two successful runs. So so far so good. Uh, other people, it's daytime now, so that's good. Let's actually. Um do I want to build another freaking bedroom over here? I think I might actually do the bedroom up here. I like the idea of having lots of room. I know I was going to do the farm here, but I might do it up here. Let's actually look at the oxygen in here, though, because, uh, as you can see, C-Top's having a hard time over here, so we might need to build an oxygen generator over there. Uh, aside from that, all right, we are starting... Oh, this is considered very breathable, so it's just a little hard to breathe up here. Ah, uh, fuck, then do I want to... No, I can't really expand anywhere else. Okay, so, yes, we're going to put the bedroom up here. Let's get them to sweep this, because uh, there's a lot of resources here. There's a lot of resources everywhere, man. This is, uh, we've been doing a lot of digging today. And then, yeah, we'll put the beds here, and I guess we'll put our plantation above the beds. That should work out just fine. So let's go into furniture here, and we're going to start a bed here, and we're just going to go all the way down. You know what? Let's put two in between just every now and then in case I want to put an oxygenator or something there just for fun. So we need one, two. All right, we already got six, but we probably got our next guy coming pretty soon. Uh, 928 seconds. So, yeah, be smarter to just prepare. Uh, let's also prioritize those beds because it's been a few days and we haven't had beds, so obviously, uh, I'd like to do that so they can get a good night's rest, finally. Alright, but there we go, we did escape, perfect. Alright, Navy Otter just actually went in there, so I want to actually tile this off now. Thank God we did that. Uh, so I'm actually going to... Hopefully, I can deconstruct this. I don't want to go too deep, so we're going to try and deconstruct those two and then tile this off. All right, I guess I'm going to wait for the deconstruction first, which might actually get them stuck in there. So you know what? I'm not even going to do that. So I'm just going to actually put tiles here and then we will cancel these so we don't get those annoying pop-ups or anything. So there we go. Uh, I think, oh, oh, shit. What are you doing in here, Mystique? Why are you not leaving? I thought you already left. I probably should have looked for that first. Mystique, please just fucking leave. Why are you still here? Uh, all right. Just, yeah, there you go. Just just climb out and, and never come back in here, please. Thank you. All right, now that Mystique's out, we can... <sighs> Why are you guys doing this? Do you not see contamination down here? And Oh, no, don't, don't, don't you, don't you do this. Okay, everybody, everybody wants to come into this room now for some fucking reason. Uh, I didn't ask them to mop or anything, so... Oh, there's a dig thing over here. Maybe I should cancel that. I don't want you guys to dig. Trust me, I don't want you to dig over here. And quite literally, what, what the fuck are you guys doing? Guys! Play! I, I don't want you to pick up all this shit. Ah, oh, everybody's gonna get diseases. And, like, why are you all in here? This is driving me insane. I really wish you could just, like, push them away. What are you doing, Mystique? Aren't, aren't you sick of living in here? All right, so you got some rock. That's good. We probably need that rock. That's why they're all coming down here. But can we please leave and tile this off so we can never do that again? Because I don't want to deal with this anymore. I've had two episodes of dealing with this shit. And we're going to prioritize the fuck out of this, because you know Mystique's Mystique's but definitely going to run in back there. He's not, he's not even going to listen to this, as you can see. Oh. What what what, what are you doing? Okay, do... Uh, thank you, Navy. Thank you so much for saving the day. He even said he can deal with contaminated water, and he didn't do it. Okay, why are we not... I put it as fucking... Oh, this game confuses me sometimes. I put it as a nine, and people are just walking right by it. Shannon! 
Finally, someone listens. Mystique, what are you eating? What, what did you just pick up over here? Do we got... Oh, we got muckroot. Okay. All right, so there we go. We sealed it off again. I'm a little worried about this opening here. Uh, they weren't able to actually tile that off, but we should be okay for right now. Research center is idle, so we obviously do want to fabricate some more of that. Let's get people researching, and yes, we got all the beds. We're doing good. Holy shit. Somehow we, we saved the day. And honestly, highest stress is 14% now. Last episode, it was 20. So even with all this shit happening, my guys are happier, and that's important. All right, but let's prioritize some of these machines. Uh, people have been not building these. I mean, I started, I asked to build these in the start of last episode, and nobody did it. So we're going to prioritize those. Uh, I do really want to dig out this room, because like I said, I want to do farming today. So we're going to prioritize that. Uh, we also got the connector here. So let's just, let's just prioritize everything over here. Because I want everything done. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got another algae terrarium. Mystique's building the other one as well. So now when that carbon dioxide does start coming up, those should suck that up and turn it into oxygen, which should be perfect. Okay, so yeah, not looking as good now in here, but we're definitely doing okay. Uh, these darker blue areas, we are going to want some more oxygen in there. So let's build, like I said, oxygized deoxidizers. Uh, we'll do one right here, and we'll do one at the edge over here if I can afford it. And then, of course, we want our furniture as well. So, uh, yeah, let's get a nice massage table in here, too. You know, make make the residents happy. Uh, does this give, uh, improves do decor opinion and reduces stress by providing light? Okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's do that right here. I like the idea of that. Uh, it's also supposed to be used for farming, I believe, so that's cool. And we got some flower vases here to uh, truly improve this room, which it desperately needs. So we'll do that, and we'll do that. So there we go. That's good. Uh, there's a lot of red everywhere, though, so we might want to... Uh, let's build one down here. Why the hell not? I don't really know what I'm doing with these. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, let's, let's build one by the pooper as well, just to kind of make it a little nicer here. When you got to have to... I mean, it kind of sucks when you got to poop down here. I mean, it's just... just it's This is not set up well over here. All right, we got shit everywhere, so let's make them sweep everything. Uh, I guess we should cancel all of these because <laughs> we'll never be able to get them, and I don't want to see the thing. So there we go. Uh, bed beyond reach. Yes, no research task selected. Oh, okay, let's actually select the research task. So we should be done the other one then. Yes, we are. So now we can deal with liquid piping if we want to. Um, do I want to go into, like, fine dining, cooking station, fertilizer maker, refrigerator? Ooh. Uh, looking at this temperature modulation, though, we might, might want to get into that. I'm just kind of looking deeper down the trees now. But power regulation, I got to assume batteries are going to be very useful. So let's do that for right now. Again, we're going to need all of this anyway, so I don't really need to think too much about it. And we will queue up a bunch of fabrications. Let's also queue up... Actually, we're okay for food, so I don't really need food right now. I'd rather not waste the energy on that when we have so many things we have to build. So it's looking like they're slow and steady actually setting up this room, uh, which is a very good thing. Uh, let's cancel that because I didn't want it to go that far. But yeah, it's looking good. All right, so they're more or less going to be just building this floor. So let's just speed up time here. I think everything is more or less okay. It's always good to check your vitals though. So yeah, oxygen's looking okay. Building power that's slowly coming together. Uh, heat. Temperature overlay, everything is totally fine. I mean, there's some warm areas we might want to actually deal with. Uh, I don't know how detrimental te temperature is, though. So well, I guess we'll find out, because I'm not really dealing with it right now. All right, and it's bedtime. It looks like Mystique just passed out a little bit before bedtime. That's unfortunate. C-Top, working throughout the night like the boss that he is. So, appreciate that. Hideki as well. Hideki's been a really loyal... Uh, member is this. I don't know if I should, you know, focus on keeping these plants. I don't know how useful they are. Uh, so yeah, obviously. Okay, there's a mealwood seed. So if you actually demolish the bushes, it looks like you get seeds, which is the things that we're going to need uh, for our plantation. So, uh, yeah, it's looking like just two people sleeping right now. I kind of wanted them all to sleep because they, they were really tired. Let's actually look at the vitals of our people while we do have the chance. So, uh, sleeping, dirty hands, grimy, tired. Uh, thankfully, they're sleeping. Uh, again, grimy. A lot of people are, are grimy. Bed beyond reach. Uh, oh, can... Oh, no. Do I have to dismantle the bed for them to not use it? I hope that's not the case, because that would be a very bad thing. I would like to... Can you assign beds? Can you just, like... Oh, you can. Okay, well, that's easy. 
Okay, so this cod is the owner of Shannon. This one's Navy Otters. Uh, we'll make this one Mystiques. We'll make this one Sea Tops. And we'll make this one Hideki's. So there we go. Everyone's got a cot. Everyone's happy now. And crisis averted. I don't actually have to go to that one. Thank God. And it's looking like this is becoming really nice as well. So we should start figuring out how to do the uh, food. So what we're going to do, I kind of read a little tutorial. We're going to do two planter boxes. Is it two or three? I think it, maybe it is three. And then in between these, we're going to put lights because the lights do help out. Uh, and the lights can spread three wide, I think. So if we do three there, actually, let's do six here. Uh, I guess we can't do six. We did an oxygenator there. Whatever. That's all fine. And then we'll do a light there. And then we'll do some more planter boxes there with a final light over here, I guess. We'll try that out and see how it is. Uh, maybe I should get rid of this, because that's going to screw up some of my lighting. Whatever, it's not the worst case scenario. So yeah, as you can see, the light, though, it's going to actually reflect all of these, which is perfect, and those should reflect all of those. So those two lights should actually be totally fine, and we can obviously do more depending on how many places that we need. So... Uh, yeah, let's focus on prioritizing this as well. I do want to get this set up today. I'm really excited to figure out how this works, because this is something I don't really know about. Uh, but yeah, looking so good. Or, sorry, so far so good. And hopefully this algae deoxidizer is helping up here. Uh, it's looking like it's getting a little bit less blue, which is good. Uh, we want it kind of this nice light blue, so I'm hoping... Because the plants are obviously going to need oxygen as well, so we might need to put another one up here. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Let's also dig out some of this rock because, well, it's rare resources, so that should be good. Uh, do we want to go any higher? I'm just kind of thinking about how I want to spread this now. As you can see, we're getting into kind of the edge of the easy territory and getting to the interesting stuff over here. Uh, so I don't really want to expand my base anymore. I want to actually refine this area and make it a little better for my living conditions. But there we go. We have these set up, so let's see how we can do this. So, uh, muckroot. Oh, it's actually already set up? Yeah, mealwood seed. So we have 16 mealwood seeds, it looks like, which is obviously a good thing. We do want the mealwood for the lice for our food, so we're going to put a mealwood there. We're going to put a mealwood here. Oh, uh, yeah, we can do all of these as mealwood. Unfortunately, we still haven't done the rest of these, but we still... I mean, we're already setting up. This is uh, getting pretty interesting. I'm so excited to figure out how this plantation works. And there's our light. Let there be light. The first light in this whole fucking base. They're probably very happy about that. You can see their stress is going down, which is good. That means we're doing this right. It feels good. Let's plant another plant here. Let's make sure all these things got plants in them. Uh, mealwood seed. Uh, why, why is it not working? Oh, I have to click it? Yeah, you do. Okay. And now we have our plantation set up. So if you don't know, if you missed the last episode, this is going to allow us with these plants to make the lice, what is it called? Lice loaf. Now, the good thing about the lice loaf is it spreads disease a lot less. With this mush bar, you have the risk of causing diarrhea. Diarrhea spreads infection. Diarrhea spreads everything, so you don't want that happening. So I want to not do mush bars if possible. Actually, now that we're thinking about it, we are out of fucking food, so we gotta fabricate some mush bars whether we like it or not. Let's prioritize that as well. I think it's already set up to be prioritized. Uh, it's, a, it, it's only a six, and I want it as a nine. There we go, because, uh, yeah, these guys gotta eat. All right, thankfully, we made quick work of that, and we noticed it before bad things happened. People started starving and everything, and we also got our meal woods uh, slowly going on here. Why? Oh, I have to connect a light or a power source to this, so let's pause time uh, and just kind of look at everything here and make sure everything's okay. So we connected to that. We got to connect to that. Uh, and let me see. Look out here. I mean, there's a lot of things we got to collect. There's a few small things we have to do. Like the flower vases down here and whatnot. Uh, we still gotta set up our bedroom too, clean up our bedroom, but more or less everything is A-OK -okay right now. Uh, alright, so what do we wanna do? Uh, obviously queue up some more fabrications. I, I, I gotta remember how to do that. I wish it would like let you know, put a big exclamation mark. I, I mean, I guess it does have this thing here that tells you you should be doing something. No fabrications queued, so open research. Did we finish it? No, we, did, we didn't. Okay, so just making sure that's all set up. That's good. We'll get that going. Uh, how are we doing for the next duplicate? 82 seconds, so that's gonna come really quickly here, and uh, that's good. So we're gonna have six people. We already have the bed prepared for that, so that is totally fine, and everything is good. Let's get this. I need you guys to sweep this up and store it, please. That's uh, very important. We need that food. All right, C-Top's got a little bit of the loaf. He's going to store it in there. Let's see how much that improves it. So, yeah, we got a little bit at least. That's important. Uh, how's the toilets doing now that I saw that someone needs to poop? Let's clean the toilets. 
Make sure these are constantly clean, because it's kind of important. Oh, shit! Okay, I didn't realize they he would uh, leave it if I told him to clean it. So hopefully, he doesn't have a mess here. You know what? Let's actually... Oh, I, I can't cancel it now. Shit! All right, well, that's not good. All right, and here is our new member. So, let's see. Choose duplicate. Let's see what we can get here. I don't really have uh, any sort of thing that I want right now, so... Uh, I guess we'll just go... I'm kind of thinking Moon here. She has mole hands. What the fuck does that mean? These hands are great for tunneling, but finding gloves is a nightmare. Ha ha ha! Amphibious! This unit moves as quickly underwater as they do on land. That might be good, too. He's plus one medicine as well. Uh, creativity, five more learning. I kind of like Fran. Honestly, none, none of these guys are overly amazing in anything. I think, yeah, Moon will be good because she's good at digging cooking. She's... Pretty much a jack of all trades. Now, I have not actually released the next video, and I do like to name these off of you guys, uh, but I have no one to name right now. So we're just gonna name her Shitweed because why the hell not? So there we go. We got Shitweed. Let's print out that unit, and we have another one here. Perfect. Okay, so so far so good. I'm just I'm really worried about these guys. This guy's had the pee for a while now. He's just trying to unclog the toilet. <laughs> I just love their faces. Like nobody likes to clean a toilet, man, and that face is the perfect face for that. All right, please, Mystique, just hold it in a little longer, because you're almost done, buddy. Let's speed up time here and make sure everything's okay. Oh, God. This is scaring me, to be honest. Uh, oh, oh yeah, there you go, Mystique. Oh, did you do that? Come on, you can't clean up after yourself. You got the compost right here for good reason. All right, people still have not set up this light. It's really bothering me, so we're going to prioritize that to a 9, so that turns on. And let's see how these guys are doing. So we got planter box emitting light. 23 degrees Celsius. Is that okay? I don't even know. Harvest remaining, so it's growing at 7%, 8%. So it looks like, yeah, the closer to the light, you can see... Oh, no, actually, it's... Uh, I guess it just has to do with when they planted them. How are these guys doing over here? Probably a lot slower, yeah? It's talking about the oxygen and not the root, oddly enough. Anyways, that doesn't matter. It's working, the plants are growing, and that's important. And, as always, I gotta tell these guys to fucking mop up everything. Like, they have not mopped in days! And it's just because of everything's so busy. Thankfully, we got six hands now, so hopefully... Uh, we'll do a little bit better. Actually, that reminds me. Let's get... Oh, no, I don't want the mop tool. I want... Uh, can we get lice loaf yet? Can I fabricate? I can fabricate the lice loaf. Perfect. All right, and it's nighttime now. I did notice that we don't actually have the lice needed for the lice leaf, so it lets you fabricate it without actually having the required resources. But as you can see, I'm feeling good now. We got the people sleeping in their beds. They're probably pretty happy. We still got to set up the plants, but at least we got tiles on the floors, man. Uh, and while they're sleeping, let's queue up some stuff. So we got to dig that out, just because I won't, don't want it there. Uh, everything else is looking pretty good right now. We're still waiting on them to do a few things. Uh, why is this? This guy's this thing now. I don't know why, but okay. Uh, we may as well dig this out as well, because we're going to want to expand this a bit. I think I'm going to want to get a little bit more... Um, in terms of plants in here, so this is, uh, this is a good setup, though. This has lots of room for a few more beds. Uh, you can see how quickly it fills up, though. This is only six people, and that is by far our biggest floor. Uh, looks like, who's up? C-Top's up already. C-Top's an early, I mean, C-Top is just a hard worker in this game, man. I appreciate you, C-Top. All right, so there we go. We are on cycle number ten. I'm actually pretty proud of that. We also got shitweed leveling up here, uh... You can see she's grimy right now. I don't even know if it shows which stats she leveled up, but she did level up something. Probably something to do with sleeping. Navy Otter running on her thing. Uh, yeah, everything is just going good. All right, we're going to fabricate some more. Let's actually... Did they not put in the massage table yet? I just want that thing. Is it... Oh, I only... I, that's because, you know, shit hit the fans, and I told them not to worry about this. So we're going to get this done tonight. I want to make sure that room's done. Uh, let's also make sure they expand out this room, because I would like that just done for visuals. Uh, also the plants. And this thing, because it's been sitting there for so long. Uh, why is this considered a five? I don't even... No, I don't even need this done. I would like to cancel whatever I did over here. All right, your colony has produced 77.3 kgs of oxygen, and your duplicates have consumed 100.5. So we still have oxygen issues. Uh, where are our, all our oxygenators? I want to have to deal with that, or I want to deal with that, rather. So uh, let's put a deoxidizer, I guess. Yeah, we don't have one on this floor, so let's put one right there. Uh, where else... Do we want one? I mean, this, there's a lot of good breathing air over here. We're also going to want one over here for sure. We already have this one queued up, but we may as well put two over there. And let's put one over here as well. And, of course, connect all this together 
so we make sure those things work. So let's just, uh, oh yeah, we don't, oh fuck, we don't have anything down here. Okay, well, it's a good thing I noticed this, uh, because I want these oxidizers to set up, and that's probably more than enough now. And we'll bring this up here and bring that over to there. So there we go. Uh, this is looking pretty damn good. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with everything. All right, we'll speed this up, make sure this is all set up so we got more oxygen pumping in now. Wow, they're actually really quick when we <laughs> speed up time here. And there we go. We got all our oxygen set up. Uh, there's a lot of resources they have to bring in here. So how does it actually uh, update immediately? Uh, 162 kgs and our duplicates have consumed 240. So we still have oxygen issues. Uh, but we are keeping up with it, so, so far, that's pretty good. We also are doing okay for food. We're not starving, at least. So, yeah, I think we're gonna end this one here, guys. Uh, we have set up a pretty good base here. Really excited to see these things grow and see how this helps us. And, uh, yeah, I think the next episode we will be going up north a little bit and expanding outwards. I also do want to get into plumbing next episode. Uh, I don't really know too much about it, so I'm gonna go and uh, do some research and everything so we can figure out the best way to do this. Because uh, I want to actually convert a lot of this contaminated water into drinkable water. Because uh, we are gonna slowly run out of our clean water here, especially with the contamination that we got going on down here. So yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.